Hey everyone, this is Paul Bertarelli reporting from Aero 2014 at Friedrichshafen, Germany, where Piper quite literally took the wraps off its first diesel airplane, the Archer DX. The DX is powered by the Continental Centurion 2OS, which is the highest horsepower variant of the Continental Centurion series at 155 horsepower. Now that's 20 more than the plain vanilla 2O, which is at 135 horsepower. Now you might reasonably ask how they get the additional horsepower. Well, it's the same basic engine, but they do some tweaks to the ECU. We talked to Simon Caldicott of Piper about where they plan to position this new airplane. Piper has taken the strategic approach to our products and trying to capture new markets where we really haven't been uh, selling enough training aircraft. So for us, um, one of the challenges was the whole Avgas issue, and it's a global issue. As we know in the US, uh, there's challenges with Avgas with getting to, to an unleaded version. And last year, we actually flew our Archer with 93 unleaded uh, Avgas. But that won't solve the problem worldwide. So what we decided to do was to look at putting a diesel engine in the Archer. And I believe that's really going to help us capture new markets in both Europe and Asia. We're going to start here in Europe. Uh, we, in fact, uh, as soon as Friedrichshafen is over, our uh, development aircraft, which has actually got, been certified, uh, will leave Friedrichshafen and go on a European tour. It's going to go to Germany, uh, France, Spain, uh, United Kingdom. And I believe we'll, we'll start to see sales out of Europe. But, of course, Asia is going to be a big opportunity for us as well. Uh, but after Europe, we will take it back to the U.S. and we're going to demonstrate it in the uh, Northern American area because we believe there will be some interest there, although that's not the ultimate solution for, for North America. Now the 2OS is not a new engine. If you recall, Cessna planned to use it in the diesel Skyhawk in 2007, but aborted that plan. So the 2OS is not installed in particularly large numbers, so its TBR is a rather short 1,200 hours. But Rhett Ross of Continental told us that the company is working hard on increasing that TBR, and we talked to him here at Aero. 2.0S today has a 1,200-hour uh, TBR time before replacement uh, for the engine and, and some intermediate inspections required for the gearbox um, and fuel system components. Um, Continental Motors is very committed to raising the TBR, although I want to stress that the economics of this engine work even at 1,200 hours. Our goal is to get north of 2,000 hours. In order to do that, under the regulatory requirements, uh, we're doing several things. First and foremost, we're bringing engines back from the field that are in a special test fleet um, that are incurring hours above 1,200, and we're inspecting those to identify any wear concerns, wear patterns, or other things out of the ordinary. Uh, we're partway through that process um, and expect to finish that up uh, over the next 12 months. In addition, we have identified some areas within the engine um, that we want to improve. As we finish those improvements later this year, that will also help us uh, meet the requirements to raise the TBR uh, to that 2,000 plus range. With those 4,000 engines and, and now more than 4 million hours of, of field experience, we have seen extraordinary reliability in the engines. Um, we have great confidence that um, the core engine um, and all of the ancillary components can have extended life. Uh, as I said, it's just we have to go through the regulatory requirements that say we have to complete uh, certain inspections on so many engines. That takes time. Um, we have to uh, complete certain modifications um, and then test those, and that takes time. So this is more an issue of quantity and time than it is of uh, technical um, improvements.